happened at the Oscars is not something white people need to speak on right away. There is so much nuance and complexity and layers that you will not be able to understand through your white experience without education and listening to specifically black women, which we all know many people don't. So when you share your perspective or your education on what you perceive to have happened last night, it's coming through your white lens, which has you on a place of moral high ground, lacks understanding of black trauma, has such an emphasis on this binary of who is good or who is bad, centers violence, only actually continues to minimize black women and their pain, and most annoyingly, continues to center yourself on shit that really just is not your business. So just take some time, take a minute. You don't have to respond right away. Really try and look at the entire situation before you speak on the shiny, easy grab. Because what you fail to see through your white lens was the actual violence occurring. The continued violence that is ableism and that is misogynoir. The continued violence that is white. Hi there. I just want everybody to know that if you're somebody who agrees with what that woman just said, you are some of the dumbest human beings on planet Earth. Anybody with a phone, TV, internet connection, or Twitter account saw this and they have an opinion. To act as if white people need to wait their turn or to say that this is black people business and then run like a bitch because you can't take criticism over your weird hot take on Twitter is completely embarrassing. I'll say that. The links people will go to to avoid holding people accountable for their actions is astounding. Because this involved two black men, this is black people business. I was not aware that ABC was so technologically advanced that they only broadcast this to black people TVs. The whole world saw it. You're gonna tell people they can't talk about what they saw? Why are we trying to make this a race issue? What conversation are you trying to avoid? That's my question. I saw this on Twitter last night or early this morning. Black emotions scare white people, that is clear. Black emotions aren't scary. Black emotions are profitable. Every four years, politicians turn black emotions into votes. Will Smith put his hands on another human being and you wanna make it a race issue. It sends the message that our default is reactionary. We're inherently violent. We can't control our emotions. We're too fragile to handle a joke. It sends the message that we're too weak to navigate important conversations. The important conversation, I think, is why don't we take men seriously when they're going through a mental health crisis? You are not the judge, jury, or executioner of jokes. Comedy is subjective. If you didn't find the joke funny, that's perfectly fine. But to get up on stage and slap the piss out of somebody and think you are well inclined to do that is a fool's errand. Everybody sitting around saying, yeah, we need to start doing that more. You got all these poor internet skit comedians who haven't been funny since 2016 saying, yeah, it's okay to start doing that to people who disrespect us or just talk too damn much. Hi. My name's T, and let's normalize slapping the shit out of people that disrespect our families, overstep our boundaries, and just talk too damn much. Do you not understand those rules apply to you too? Because if you make a joke about somebody and they find it offensive or they don't find it funny, they got credence to slap the shit out of you now. And if your next words after I said that is, wait a minute, then you're trying to make some excuse to justify you making jokes as opposed to Chris Rock because he can't make a joke about a black woman. Let's not bottle all these different people up and act as if they ain't allowed to make jokes about people. They got black women who make jokes about people too are they no longer allowed to make jokes now of course not because comedy is subjective are bald people not allowed to make jokes about people now of course not because comedy is subjective are all these different people who claim to be marginalized no longer gonna make jokes about other people which we all know everybody has done at least once in their lifetime of course not because comedy is subjective i'm tired of people trying to act innocent as if they've never made a joke that would offend somebody Especially now, since nowadays, everybody's a fucking pussy. It's weird that so many people are trying to go to bat for Will because, oh, the joke was disrespectful to black women and defending his wife and yada, yada, yada. I would have did the same thing. Okay, never make a joke again. Because if you make a joke and you offend somebody, they got credence to slap the ever-loving taste out your goddamn mouth because you made a joke and it offended them. So you can't sit there and try to say, rules for thee not for me you got to keep that shit consistent and what bothers me is that there are so many people 
itching to try to make this make sense, but they lose it with the common question. Are you going to keep that consistent? And the answer is no, because you motherfuckers like making money off jokes. You motherfuckers like telling jokes. And if you lose that, you lose a lot with yourself because maybe you're not funny doing some weird dance. Your cooking stinks. You got no personality. All you got is the weird comedy. You got Amy Schumer going around saying she's traumatized about all this. I'm not concerned about some white woman who steals jokes and already isn't funny. Fuck her. But to sit there and act as if, oh, now we got to start paying attention. Now this is a problem. Now we got to have all this shit going on is completely embarrassing. I know everyone's sick to death with the Oscar entanglement, but one more thing. I saw this thing on Twitter and I cannot find it for the life of me, but it was so interesting talking about Jada's role as Will's wife. Denzel and Tyler Perry went up and comforted Will, gave him good words of wisdom after the fact, which is great. But where was Jada? Your husband just lost his whole cool on stage in front of millions on your behalf and you kept your seat. Melon! I don't know what plant that is, but it is not your food. As a single woman who wants to be married one day, I often think about not just the kind of husband I want, but the kind of wife I want to be. I look forward to one day playing that support role. Like I get excited thinking about it because that's my sweet spot. I look forward to not having to take charge. And when he steps out of his character, I want to be the first one to remind him who he is. A relationship can't just be about what I need. Men, what do you need? It's misogynistic is insinuating that women are too fragile to handle criticism. The way some of y'all throw that word around, it's like a monkey flinging its poop. Criticizing Jada for not supporting Will in that moment as his wife, that's valid. Anytime anyone criticizes a woman, there are a bunch of y'all that just scream misogyny. This conversation makes me uncomfortable and I don't know how to engage with it. So maybe if I just throw a word around and make people feel guilty and shame them into silence, it'll stop. I don't know who you think you're trying that with, but it's not going to work with me. I say what I want. I don't care what you call me. Whether any of you shanty sea dogs like it or not, Will Smith was in the wrong. He's, he walked up on stage and put his hands on somebody for something that he deemed offensive. And if you're going to sit there and say, well, that's fine because it was disrespectful, then everything you say from now on, you better watch yourself. Because if you disrespect somebody or if somebody perceives what you say is disrespectful, they got reason to slap the taste out your mouth. And if you get mad about it, just remember, your ass is a fucking hypocrite to the end of your time. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.